We're at the auction today. We got a great selection of tractors, much better than we've had in the past. We've got this Branson with only 59 hours. We've got three BX23S Kubotas. We've got a McCormick tractor. We've got a Cabela's tractor. Of course, we have several John Deere's as well. This one's gonna be interesting. Much better quality than the past. Let's get started. Folks, I want to remind you that any of the data that I'm sharing here is coming from my friends at TractorZoom.com. I have access to more data than what you will be able to have access to with your free account, but it's still worth signing up with your tractor, TractorZoom.com, and you can find out your value. You can also see upcoming auctions. You just can't see much, if any, of the historical data that we're going to be looking through today, but you still might find it interesting. This is an L3240. Think of it as a Grand L uh, from the previous generation, sort of like an L3560 today. This one looks to be in good condition. It's got 1,800 hours on it. Only blemish I can really see on this tractor is dents in the hood. Of course, you're going to get that with steel hoods. But this is a cream puff. Even though the, the numbers show typically in the 16,000s, I wouldn't be surprised if this thing doesn't bring 20,000. I mean, it's got brand new tires on it all the way around. The bucket looks like it's hardly any use at all. I don't know what it's done for its 1,780 hours. General auction results here in all conditions are about 16,600, 16,600. My personal opinion, this will bring more than that. This will bring 17, 18 at least, I would think. Little 3240, boys. All right, hydrostat. Here we go, 20 grand. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, Okay, I said we had three BX23S as well. We also have this one BX25D, which is the series before. It aligns with the 70 series of the BX tractors. One of the big differences is the joystick is up on the loader instead of back on the fender. Auction averages for these somewhere in the 13,000 range. I believe this one will go better than that. It's in better than average condition, 300 hours on it. The mower deck's in great shape. Everything's in good shape. The only thing missing is the quick detach bucket, so it does not have the skid steer quick attach. Other than that, this is a nice machine. My guess is maybe 14, 15. Yeah, boys, got a little BX. Get up there, get up there, tractor, load the back of. All right, get up there, nice one there, boys. Get up there, 20, get up there, 10, 11. All right, 10, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, BX23S. This one's got 200 hours on it. Looks to be in really good condition. The online prices here with my tools show somewhere in the neighborhood of 15,000 with it. So I may have been too high on my 25D, but this has got to be above average again. It's springtime here. Even while we're standing here, somebody came by and was interested in this tractor. This almost has to bring nearly 17,000. Seems to me like we may be proven wrong. All right, over there, 200 hours on this little baby dog. He's 15, then over there, 14, now 16, then over there, 15, 16, now 17, but over there, 19, get 19, get 19, get 19, so 18, 5, Gary's better. Come on, bring me another one, Tommy. We have a Branson 2400 here. It's a shuttle shift tractor. It's not a hydrostatic. I guess it's a little less than 25 horsepower, but it's not really a subcompact. It's got a little larger tire than that. This tractor's only got 59 hours on it, so it's almost like new. I think it's probably pretty rare that they have a cab. All the ones that I've seen in the auction results here are open station. I don't know that the cab will make any difference, whether it would increase the price or lower the price at this point. There's no issue with this tractor. It, it just has a real convoluted rear hydraulic plumbing here. That is kind of interesting. There's a diverter here on the front, and then there's two hoses that route to the rear to give you a rear SCV with an electric diverter kit on the front. The average sell prices for the auctions are about $8,000. There's nine results here. Six of them are 250 hours. 
within five hours. Uh, two of them are 39 hours and one is 672. So this tractor, according to auction results, might not bring more than $10,000. And that's, that's, a, that's a shame. Uh, I think it will bring more here. It is springtime here. I think it'll bring a retail buyer. Uh, it might not because of the cab here in Indiana. So it'll be interesting to say, but I, but I would say $10,000. One more branch is like new, boys. What you got? 50 hours? 59 hours. Look at that quick hit. All right, here we go. Boys got a big cab on that, baby. Now, it's a little bit of 75, 100, 95, 100, 95, 10, 95, 14, now 14, a little bit of 30, a little bit of 28 grand, boys. 14, now 5, 14, now 5, a little bit of 14, 14, a little bit of 70 work, 14, a little bit of 70 work, 14, a little bit of soda, 14, 5. B7970. Last auction we brought to you, there was a bunch of 1025Rs, just a whole row of them. And I think a lot of viewers thought, is that all they sell there is John Deere's? Well, this auction's dramatically different. I think we have maybe two 1025Rs in the entire lineup here today. This one's got 580 hours on it. It is pre-2017. I haven't looked at the serial number to know what model year it is. It is in pretty good shape for 580 hours, but I believe it's spent a good bit of time outside too, so it, it's not the best. The front tires are both flat. Of course, that's pretty standard on these little tractors. Um, I'm gonna limit my search here to 2017 and older tractors here, and I'm seeing an average auction of 12.5, an average dealer listing of 16.3. You could do better uh, if it goes more than, say, 13,000. I, I would think we could do better than that, but it, it may. Hey, it's got the drive over deck on her, boys. If you go to put there, 580 hours all. All right, if you go to put there, 20 grand, you go to put there, 20, you go to put there, 20, you go to put there, 10, you go to put there, 7, 8. Now, 8, down a little bit, 9, down a little bit, 10, 10, 11, down a little bit, 10, 11, 12, 13, you go to put there, 15, 250, Gary. I have 15, you go to put there, you go to put there, sold up, $15,000. Hey, which way? Come on, driver, let's go. All right, you go to put there, you This is our second BX23S. This one has a gash here on the cup holder. The first one had a little bit of a gas. This one has a lot worse. I don't know if that's something that happens to all the BX tractors or if perhaps these tractors were together. I mean, is it possible they came from the same place? I wouldn't expect a municipality to use a, a BX. I would think they would use a bigger tractor. This one's got the quick attach bucket, but again, a lot more hours. We're probably talking in that 15,000 range again. Yeah. Should sell similarly to the first one because of the quick attach bucket. This is our third BX23S gash is even worse 857 hours this one's clearly spent more time outside this is the worst looking of the three at least on the surface i don't know that i see anything mechanically that that looks any worse or really any different than the other two up oh, strike that this one has the hood guard all bent up won't bring as much money but who knows it might be worth just as much Yet another brand. We've got a Cub Cadet here. 905 hours. It looks to be in pretty good condition. Uh, it's a 7305. I'll have to look up. I don't even... I don't know how to get the hood open. I don't even know if it's a gas or a diesel. This one's got a three-point hitch attached backhoe, which I would not have. We can save that for another video. I really don't like the three-point hitch attached backhoes. The nameplate says MTD, so I don't believe it's one of the Yanmar tractors. I'm not, I'm not sure. That's, that's one of the reasons I would hesitate so much on a Cub Cadet tractor at this stage. Auction sales have shown about $8,000. I wouldn't pay that. I just don't know whether I could get parts. I don't know. It's too much of a wild card for me.
I want to show you this 1023E because it's got a couple of features that I think you should potentially avoid in a subcompact tractor, especially a John Deere. You won't notice this if you just don't know your tractors really well. This particular tractor has a pin-on bucket. Now that's very rare in the John Deere subcompact line. Most of them are ordered with the JD Quick Attach. They don't have the pin-on, but occasionally 1023Es with the D120 loader were ordered with the pin-on. The D120 itself is much more difficult to take off and put back on. And on these little tractors, that's often something you want to do, especially if you're going to be using it as a mower tractor. This tractor has 313 hours on it. Auction prices somewhere around 11,000 usually. I think that's too high for this tractor with the pin-on bucket. Let's see how it sells. What's your word? Then we're going to put there 20 grand, going to put there 20, going to put there 6, 7. Now 7, 10, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, and this one's been outside a good bit, 572 hours. It really doesn't look very good. Oh, yep, it's got the uh, side torn up here. I don't, this must be a seat belt issue. I don't know what's tearing this up. Not quite as good a condition as the other three we've seen. Let's see how it sells. 574 hours, all on 10 left, 12. 13, 750 down here, 16, two and a half, 16, you put the running back in the turn, 16, you put the turn, 16, you put the turn, 16, 16, 5, 16,500. John Deere 755. This is a mixed bag. On one hand, this tractor is amazing. The hour meter shows 280 hours. I, I find that very surprising, actually. It looks in great condition. It's a four wheel drive. Every aspect of it looks good except for what I'm holding on to right here. This loader, I don't believe, belongs on this tractor. This is a 40 loader, which I think belongs on the much smaller tractors. I really don't believe this was intended for this large of a tractor. If Dirt Perfect or Neil from Dig Drive DIY were here, they would be salivating over this tractor. Let's see how it sells. 3, 35, now 4, now 5, 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 auction sale of one of these and it went for $18,500. This one's got 1,634 hours on it. It's got the loader, it's got the cab. I don't think I would pay that for it. It was made by TYM. I don't know if it's identical to a TYM in every way. I don't know if there's been modifications that were made for Cabela's. Just a little bit of background on Cabela's tractors. Uh, the guy who founded Summit Tractors very recently is the guy who got this going at Cabela's. It's actually his third or fourth try at uh, uh, coming up with another brand of tractors. So the Cabela's, I believe, was try number two. You can see what, what happened to it. In this case, it's a TYM tractor, so you might be okay. It's just another rebrand. You, If you've watched our channel, you know that from my standpoint, if I want a TYM, I'll go buy a TYM. I really don't want a rebranded tractor. That's an old Cabela tractor right there. Now they Google those for them. And they have another right there. They have another right there. 20. Yeah, 20. Now they have 75, 10,000, 8,000, 9,000. Now they never sold one. First time they're there. Now they have 12. And that's probably what I have for them. I got 16, 16, 5. And now you want to get up and down there. And I'm going to get up and down there. Which one's worse? They lost the team. Nobody knows. 16, 16, 5. I'm going to get 16, 5. I'm going to get 16, 15, 15. 
So pair four for there, gentlemen. Mahindra 4540. This is that tractor that's that kind of a primitive tractor. It's been around 15, 20 years, a long time, right? This is not the very newest one because they still have the, the gear shift in the middle, but it's still for sale, brand new, through Mahindra. This one's only got 282 hours on it. Average auction price on these is $14,000. Now, they offer them in two-wheel drive. They offer them without a loader. Uh, average dealer listing is about $20,000, so that $6,000 delta, right? Um, I would expect this one to sell a little higher than average just based on its condition. It looks to be in pretty good shape. Little Mahindra boys come right up here in Crawfordville. Got a little 280 hours on her. All right, then go over. But they're a good tracker. 15, now a bit of a DW, 13, 14. A bit of a bit of a heavy power. But we want the wrong side of 20, boy. 18. Now 18, 19, 19, 2 and a half. 5, 5, 7 and a half. A bit of the door, 19, 5, a little bit of the door, 19, 5, 7 and a half. Sold it. 19, 5, the bleachers. Mahindra 2565, 65 horsepower tractor, 1100 hours, got a cab, it looks fairly clean inside. Auction prices somewhere around 25,000 on this. We'll see. Okay, 30, you put a little bit of 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 30, this is a GX50, uh, 45 horsepower tractor. It doesn't have a loader. It's got big turf tires on it. It has uh, one or two rear SCVs. It's got 3,018 hours on it. Why am I finding it so exciting? I'm finding it exciting because I have the information about where this tractor was purchased from. I actually checked the serial number here, comparing it with an auction that I found earlier in uh, the tractor zoom data. This tractor sold just two months ago in Wisconsin for $7,300. Now, by the time you see this, that won't be super secret, right? Because you're gonna see the sale here in just a few seconds. The question is, did Ted Everett Auctions make any money on it? Or did they lose money on it? Let's see. Tell them the corner, actually, if you it is like it's now three, four, and four, five thousand four hundred. So fifty three, right there, Barter. This is a pretty good looking John Deere forty four hundred. This would have been the precursor to the 3R, I believe. It looks, some of it looks just like a 3R back here from the, the fenders and all. The, the tractor itself should have been a Yanmar drivetrain, so it shouldn't be the same tractor as the 3R at all. The sale prices are showing a roughly $12,000. This one's only got 642 hours on it. The only thing concerning to Christie and I is we can't find a serial number plate on it. It may be because we don't know where to look, but other than that, this looks like a fairly nice tractor. It's missing a top link and it's missing a drawbar. Those two things would be easily found and replaced, but uh, that's what's missing on this tractor. What do you think it's going to sell for? Christy, this looks like what I would bring home. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> you already got one. <laughs> 45, 20, 1680 hours. This one looks to be in a little better shape mostly than, than, than mine. See, you should have waited. Not as much salt damage. Of course, it's a bigger tractor than what we got. Uh, the tires are not in very good shape. Um, it does look like it was owned by some sort of a commercial outfit. It's number 330, whatever that means. Inside the cab, very similar to what we had on ours, maybe even a little worse in some areas. Auction prices on these are showing somewhere around $27,000. That seems like a lot of money, really, for this age and 
where, I think, uh, I think that shows where some of this resale value hangs in there. I'm sure all the parts are still available for it, and it's much like today's 4052R, to put it uh, all relative. Maybe. This doesn't have any salt damage. It looks good under the back end. Good memory. How do you remember that? This is an early 4320, at least by our observations. 3,600 hours on it. it. It was sold locally, so I don't think we're gonna see the salt damage that we would see from stuff sold further north. It was a commercial sale of some sort. It's number S10, whatever that means. I don't see any significant salt damage. I do see this plastic piece here broken. The front bucket is in not very good shape. Um, I can't tell too much about the steering. Let's see how it sounds. Had some bad audio here. I'm sorry, but it sold for $14.5. Not a bad deal, but not a screaming buy either. This Kubota L3200 is going to sell really high. It's got Ken's bolt-on hooks on it. I'm sure that's going to make it sell high. Hey, it does have a third function kit. It's actually pretty dressed up for a Kubota L series. Typically, you don't see these dressed up as much as some of the others. Coyote CK3510SE HC. It doesn't say that, but that's what it is. Hydrostatic cab. I see no auction history results in the data that I have, so I, I can't really put a good value on it. This one's got 275 hours. It is beat up for 275 hours. Uh, there's, there's some serious cab damage over on the top of the side over here on the outside. I don't know if it's been rolled over. The hood has just been beat to pieces. It's a good thing they got a steel hood because, uh, no, I mean, it's just bent to pieces. I don't know how you could use a tractor this hard in 275 hours unless you were treating it like it was stolen. Again, I have no idea what this tractor will bring, but I don't think it's representative of what this model is worth in any case, right? Because it is, it has been abused and it's just, it's a shame. I, I don't know. I hate to see something abused to this extreme in such a few amount of hours. I could understand if it was 20 years old and 4,000 hours, but oh my goodness. Oh, the mirror's broken off. It's, it's, this is, this is ridiculous. It would take a lot to bring this one back to, uh, to nice condition. I think there's significant evidence the tractor's been rolled. This is, whatever's gone on here is, is not in good shape at all. Here's one more anecdotal piece of evidence. Look right down here. Rim guard sticker. Remember 275 hours and all of them were rough hours but yet the rim guard sticker is still on. I have a feeling after they rolled the tractor they said you know what we're gonna put rim guard in those tires. You need to go ahead and get rim guard at rimguardsolutions.com slash ttwt to find your local dealer. Not only does it keep your tractor more firmly on the ground in case of rollover, it also helps the ride. It just doesn't doesn't toss it as much and better traction. You need rim guard. Hey, got a little coyote in there, boys. Here we go, everybody. Here we go. Guys, he says when I got 276 hours. What do you got, Gary? It's been beat. 11, up. It's real 12, bad. 13. 18 Some of you say that everything that's brought to auction is junk, and I think this tractor disproves that. This is a 109 hour L3901. We can't see anything wrong with it. It runs, purrs like a kitten. It, it looks just like new. You don't see hardly any wear, uh, even on the floor. Uh, panels there. I mean, this this tractor looks great. It looks perfect. Auction values eighteen thousand six hundred dollar average on these, and I went for two hundred hours and under. I, I think this one's worth 
worth every bit of that. I, I think eighteen, nineteen thousand dollars probably not a bad buy on this tractor. If, if you could get it for that, I, I think it'll probably go for more. And I and I don't see any reason why the buyer will be disappointed. John Deere 4044M here. It has the 400E loader, which is what they usually put on these 4M tractors. By the way, you can get the 440R loader so that you can have a quick remove and you also get more lift capacity with it. I would recommend that if you want a 4M tractor, consider having your dealer get the 4R loader with it, 440R loader. But anyway, this one's got 246 hours on it. It looks clean, it looks nice. I see no reason for it to be here if everything here is supposed to be junk. Uh, sale prices, $25,000, and that's all our ranges. Lower hours look like they're going more than that. Look like we're seeing uh, maybe $26,000, $27,000. Be interesting to see how this goes. Christy, what can I spend on it? Zero. Oh. You're a tractor hoarder. <laughs> There's a nice tractor. Maybe you put there at 30 grand. Go get 30. You put there at 30. You put there at 30. 15, 70. You put there at 20. Now, four. But you get it now. I got two on. I get 24, 24, 5 minutes. 24, 5 minutes. 6, 7. I get 26, 6, 26, 7. 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 27. You put there at 6, 7. Sold at 26,600 dollars. Another 40, 44M. This one has shuttle shift transmission instead of hydrostatic. 192 hours. Again. Looks to be in great condition. Looks like originally sold at Reynolds. I think this is just a case where this, these tractors were probably sold at a dealer and the dealer just had too much inventory and they'd rather sell new tractors than these used ones. So they just get them out of here so I can sell my new machines. We happen to live close to a Reynolds and they have a huge inventory right now. The largest inventory I've seen in well, since COVID. This tractor, 5055E, has about a thousand hours on it. These tractors sell very inexpensively. Two wheel drive, right? No loader. They are about the cheapest horsepower you can buy uh, from John Deere at this point. I would be surprised if this thing gets to $20,000. I suspect it will be in the 18, 19 range, if that. I don't have any use for a tractor like this, but I suppose if you were going to be doing a lot of mowing, uh, hay baling, uh, things where you don't need a loader and you don't necessarily need a lot of traction, the two-wheel drive 5e series uh, would be a, a good value. Let's see how this one sells. Here's our summary. The auction data that I had was actually pretty helpful. The Branson was a little bit unpredictable because of the cab. I think the Cub Cadet just went too high. I think having four BX backhoe tractors lifted their prices overall. There were a bunch of people ready to bid on those. We'll watch some of the attachments sell here, and I'll provide you some of my extra thoughts on the auction. There were several Frontier attachments here, new. Uh, they had a little bit of rust on them. They've clearly been sitting outside for a year or two. I'm always puzzled at this because I know there's going to be a bunch of customers go into Reynolds just this week and buy landscape rakes and box blades with their new tractors. Why didn't Reynolds offer the good deals to their customers rather than selling them here at auction? Another topic is auction premiums. There are no auction premiums here at the Ted Everett auction. Personally, I think that's the way it should be. Take the auction commission out of the sale price. A related question surrounds the data that I have from TractorZoom. I asked them if any auction premiums were included in their auction prices, and frankly, they didn't know. My thinking is that auction premiums are not common in the ag world, but I don't have enough experience to prove this. Now, overall, I think we could say that this auction sold higher than the average auction prices. It's possible that the demand is that high, that that's what's driving it, but it's also possible that people trust the Ted Everett auction more than some others. He 
guarantees that if there's a major problem, you can bring it back and he'll take it with no questions. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. I'm always standing in the wrong place. You know more mosquitoes around you, do you, Christy? No. I also <laughs> don't really like soot and, yeah. I'm doing this so that you won't come back with me to the actual auction. Oh, I'm just not letting you take the checkbook. <laughs>